Hello and welcome to our review for the upcoming Rotogrip Duo, which releases on May 19th. Since I'm doing the more in-depth interactive live stream reviews now, I'm going to keep this one simple and straightforward so you can get your information and get on with your day. And I also have a commentary-free version available for a variety, depending on what you prefer. My sponsors are Storm, Bowlers Mark, Cool Wick, Turbo Grips, and the SRG BBFS group on Facebook. Check out the description for information and codes to save some money. With each purchase of a duo, Rotor Grip will also donate 5% of the proceeds to Big Brothers Big Sisters. The Duo is the latest addition to the HP3 line, and it features the Microtrax Pearl cover from the Exotic Gem and a new strong symmetric core called the Mentor Core. For those that remember the Daredevil series from a few years back, this core design was based on the Madcap core from that line, and the numbers for the core in the Duo are a 249RG and an 046 differential in 15 pounds. We are still using Kegel Chromium as our test pattern. It's 42 feet long, just under a 7 to 1 ratio, and 25 and a half mils. 42 feet is on the long side of medium. It's a challenge pattern, so it's not as easy as a house shot, but more forgiving than a sport pattern. And 25.5 mils is average volume. Most house patterns or league shots are 20 to 22 mils, and a lot of sport patterns are around 28 mils, so this is in the middle. Starting with Angel first, the duo reminds us a lot of the original Daredevil, just a stronger version because Microtrax is a fair amount stronger than the cover that was on the Daredevil. We can also say it feels like a baby exotic, a very similar motion overall, but obviously a weaker core or engine, so similar shape but a step down in overall strength. The duo comes at the Reacta Gloss polished surface out of the box, but neither of us are fans, so Angel's Ball was taken to 1000 grit on a resurfacing machine and then finished with Reacta Scuff, which gets it up to about a 3000-ish grit sheen or matte finish. The total package reaction is very balanced, much again like the original Daredevil. It's easy through the fronts, but not super clean or prone to over skidding. It is moderately heavy rolling, uh, very stable in the mid lane, but not, not early. And while it does have some pop down lane, it doesn't jerk or jump. It kind of climbs or tumbles off the friction. It's not really sharp, but it's not exactly smooth either. It is continue. It is very continuous, despite looking like a ball that would be kind of hook set or directional, meaning that it rolls like a ball that would hit dry boards or the back end and want to be more forward or straighten out, but it doesn't. We'll compare it to the Idle Cosmos, which is also a strong symmetric pearl. It's at the same surface, and the difference between the two on paper is that the Cosmos has a slightly stronger cover and marginally stronger core. I think what you notice right away is that the Cosmos is smoother and rounder, uh, but it's also a little stronger and a little earlier, so it's generally better from straight while the Duo handles angle better. Remember that strength doesn't mean back end, it means the ball gets traction earlier so it won't be as responsive down lane, while weaker balls skid more in the oil and react stronger or more sharply on the back end or to friction. Overall, between the two, a little more strength and control out of the Cosmos, a little more dynamic shape out of the Duo, but both balls are obviously still in the same uh, kind of window or zone. Flipping sides, I also took mine down to 1000 grit on a resurfacing machine, but finished it with step 2 compound to shine it back up, so that we could also take a look at it with polish. Polish will make a ball slide more in the oil and respond stronger on the back end, and that's what we're seeing. It also makes the ball a bit less forgiving, and remember again, this isn't a house shot, so if I get it out, it'll hang, and if I get it in, it'll want to take off. From the straighter zone, the polish makes it too sensitive, so I moved in quickly, and here's where it truly shines, pun intended. Once I get into the right area on the lane, it's a very versatile ball that seems to be more forgiving on misses out rather than misses in, and I think that this was also consistent with Angel's experience. It's strong rolling and responsive enough that if you get it in, it just wants to go, but if you miss to the outside, I feel like it has more of a chance to recover without bogging down or giving up, and that will of course be enhanced on a house shot. I did have a couple shots that didn't recover, but those I just got too far out. Virtually all of the shots I got in a little overhooked. Even though I like this reaction, I feel like this ball will be best with a little surface on it to blend it out for most people, especially if you're on more challenging conditions. Also comparing it to the Idle Cosmos, uh, again I use the same surface prep for both, so it's an equal comparison, though the layout on the Cosmos is slightly stronger. Again, I have the same difference that Angel had. The Cosmos is obviously earlier and smoother, and despite the polish, it's still blending the lane and is more stable from straighter, so when I was talking about strength earlier, this is a great illustration of what strength actually means. 
It is more resistant to angle though, so I found it to be a great complement to the Duo, which is more comfortable covering boards. I think this is also a good example of shape complements that are in a similar traction or hook zone. The Cosmos is the stronger ball, but not by much. Uh, they both look good, they both look like they fit this pattern, but you can, def you can see definite strengths and weaknesses for both, specific use cases, how they work together, and why you can't always pay attention to one thing or the other. You can't just look at the similar comparison on paper, or back end strength, or stability, or boards covered because all those things can fool you if you don't put them in perspective. The Duo gets very high marks from both of us. It is a bit on the stronger side. It's handling this pattern easily, so for Angel, she could start a league set with it, but probably couldn't finish with it. And if something like My Fate or Cosmos are a little slow or lazy, this would be a similar strength choice that punches a little harder down lane. Or if I like this general reaction and it's still not enough, I'd go up to the exotic. Once again, it releases on May 19th. I'll have other videos and comparisons coming. And like I said, I'm going to be mixing up formats quite a bit, so there should be something for everyone. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.